FrancisSchaferStudies.org, and as you know, we are on the road to uh, the Libri Conference in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm traveling with my man Phil right here. Yeah, that's right. Phil's uh, driving the vehicle, and uh, I like to refer to him as uh, philanthropic uh, Philip, <laughs> uh, Phil the philanthropist. Uh, and uh, philosopher extraordinaire and uh, we're just hanging out and uh, making progress uh, on our way to Minnesota I am happy to be in Iowa and <laughs> I want to just give a shout out to my beautiful wife Shannon awesome all right state of Iowa and I'm happy to be part of the Francis Shaper Studies group. I would just like to tell everyone that Iowa is fantastic for driving. Um, there's farmland on both sides and you really don't know exactly where you're at, but that's fine. Um, and I'd just love to say hi to my beautiful wife, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, that's side. cool. Okay, so Phil, Phil just said that we just passed uh, John Wayne's birthplace and saw a sign. Phil Grum. I found that I find that hard to believe, Phil. I, uh, as a fan of the cowboy western era, I take offense. <laughs> I well, I mean, hey, the, if if the Duke was born here. Uh, that's really cool, but um, I don't know, I'm just a little skeptical. <laughs> Come to Iowa. <laughs> okay. Bye. Rolling, 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 rawhide. Keep those wagons rolling, rawhide. So, what are we expecting uh, at the uh, Labrie Conference? Well, um, you know, it's it's the uh, the Rochester Labrie branch, and the Ro Rochester Labrie branch uh, is kind of the base of Labrie in the United States. Uh, there's also um, a branch in uh, Massachusetts, but uh, all of these uh, uh, different scholars from Labrie are coming together for this conference, and uh, uh, we're particularly excited about uh, Nancy Piercy being there this year. Um, and generally, uh, this topic that is being explored is the topic of creation in a uh, basically post-Christian world. Now, Phil and I uh, usually have some deep discussions, and uh, this is no different on our way to the Libri Conference in Ronchester, Ronchester, uh, Ronchester, Rochester, Minnesota, and uh, we're talking about uh, truth and love as a principle. Now, if you know anything about Schaefer, you know that's what the core things that he taught. And it seems almost so basic uh, that you could just skip right over that. But uh, we were talking about the fact that uh, very often this is the real problem uh, in the church as well as uh, in uh, general culture. Christianity is unique uh, in the religions of the world in that it holds to a system of doctrine uh, that is balanced by grace and love. Uh, in, in the other systems that you might explore in religion, um, you might look at them and uh, you'll find that most of these systems uh, would embody maybe a system of codes or things that you have to do in order to, uh, to merit uh, acceptance by some deity or some uh, group or cult. And so uh, they would be uh, more heavy on the legalistic aspect of their religion. And then there's others uh, in the world that are more emphasis on inclusion or the acceptance of everyone in love. And uh, really, in, in, if you an analyze those, you'll find out that they are uh, actually a form of mysticism. And so uh, the 
areas of truth and love, uh, you know, kind of expands out uh, into into the general uh, concepts of religious philosophy. Yet at the same time, um, it's at the core of the struggle of the Christian church. If you think about it, when you go and you uh, visit churches in your neighborhood, you'll very easily find one of two types of churches. Uh, you could attend one church that is very legalistic uh, and just an overemphasis on law. Uh, yet at the same time, you could cross that town and go to another church um, where the, uh, the principles are love everyone, accept everyone, but yet uh, not call anybody on any uh, forms of uh, doctrinal purity. And, um, you know, we should be clear uh, when we state something like this that we make sure that we uh, uh, clarify that, uh, you know, we are uh, not under the law in the sense that we're not under its curse. However, the law is still in effect in the fact that Christ has fulfilled the law. And so he is our righteousness and the fulfillment of that law comes through him. So when you look at law in general, you have to always uh, look through the filter of the lens of Christ and uh, the law of love and the, and the principles of following him. When Jesus says, uh, if you love me, keep my commandments. Uh, what are Jesus' commandments? Well, obviously, you know, that he gives us those uh, very distinctly in his commandments to uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with your soul, and then also to love your neighbors yourself. So um, the principles that we need to constantly be affirming and in our love for God and love for others, uh, we should be willing to be sacrificial uh, in areas of doctrine uh, to, uh, in a sense of being sacrificial, being giving towards other in areas of doctrinal disagreement, yet not give up on the standards of truth. And so uh, anyway, that's part of our uh, deep discussion that uh, we've been exploring uh, today on our travels.